is a reminder. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Let's go, son. The fight between Jermal Charlo and Canelo Alvarez was a highly anticipated match, bringing together two of the top boxers in the world. The bout took place in a packed arena with fans eagerly waiting to see the clash of styles between Charlo's speed and technique and Canelo's power and ring IQ. From the opening bell, both fighters were cautious, feeling each other out with jabs and quick footwork. Canelo, known for his aggressive style, began to pressure Charlo, cutting off the ring and looking for openings to land his powerful combinations. Charlo, on the other hand, relied on his quickness and movement, trying to keep Canelo at bay with sharp jabs and counterpunches. As the fight progressed, Canelo's relentless pressure started to pay off. He managed to land several hard shots to Charlo's body, slowing him down and reducing his mobility. Charlo showed his resilience and heart, fighting back and landing some impressive punches of his own, but it was clear that Canelo's power was making a difference. In the middle rounds, Canelo began to dominate more clearly, using his superior ring generalship to control the pace and dictate the action. Charlo had his moments, showcasing his skills and landing some clean shots, but Canelo's power and precision were too much for him to handle consistently. In the later rounds, Canelo's experience and conditioning became evident. He continued to apply pressure, landing more significant punches and wearing Charlo down. Despite Charlo's best efforts to rally, Canelo's dominance was clear. The fight went the distance, and the judges awarded a unanimous decision victory to Canelo Alvarez. The scores reflected Canelo's control and effective aggression throughout the fight. Both fighters showed great sportsmanship, acknowledging each other's skills and efforts in the ring. Overall, it was a thrilling match that showcased the best of both boxers, but Canelo Alvarez's power, experience, and tactical acumen proved to be the deciding factors. Canelo Alvarez later, but that's himself on the ropes again, trying to fight back. Right here, I think. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't land perfectly. It's on well, the follow completely. Yeah, there he gets him on the rope. Not everything lands. He gets one. He's cutting off the ring well, so I have to. And Canelo, Canelo, times he would just hook his way. Oh. Unfortunately, a knee in the round, and that right hand. You're going to see it's a straight right hand. And I think Charlo was expecting Abner a week. Doesn't develop any kind of rhythm from the smothering. Science. There is not, but oh. that was the. Charlo single shots and four. Tonight he's been hit more with right hands, but here's Charlo to the ring. He's still landing big shots. I was going to say before. Two weight classes above yeah. the weight class that he normally fights. The speed he felt was important. Been too many of those guys. Only a couple. Speed. Charlo was perfect the risks. And I can see why, of course. Because it would likely be the whole. In flashes, and that is combinations from Charlo. Double jab, those hook on. They didn't get in, but the 15 in 12 round fight. Jamal Charlo's 3 1 and 1 in 10th round. Definitely great, yeah. great condition. That he's in. Die two divisions above him right now. Canelo has Charlo. Charlo in terms of landing jabs, and that's a really wild Charlo 28 yep. of 232. And there's Charlo with no punches. You know, normally lands as Alvarez comprehensively out fighting. You gotta be careful. One, two, through the ground. Impact this, but we don't know. <laughs> Body combination by Canelo. Right hand that uh, he landed, but he was kind of going backwards. It's just like every other round, it became... Remind people that Canelo Alvarez has never been stopped. Look at his resume. I mean, luminaries up and... Yeah. So obviously, the whole experience that can... Yeah, I'm sorry, I've been no, 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 I know, I mean, there's glass of him trying, but again, it's... It's the good little man, although when we looked at this fight, we talked... He's on his way to retaining the undisputed super middleweight championship. And still, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo.